The thermostat housing holds the thermostat in place and can be either standalone or integrated, depending on the vehicle. Leaks usually occur due to damage, a failing seal, or extreme temperatures. The cooling system keeps the engine at the optimal temperature to prevent overheating. Coolant and water flow through the engine block to absorb heat, routed by the water pump driven by the serpentine belt. The thermostat reads temperatures and controls coolant flow by opening or closing. When the engine is cool, the thermostat remains closed, circulating coolant within the engine but not to the radiator. As the engine heats up, the thermostat opens, allowing coolant to flow to the radiator to cool down. The housing's sole purpose is to keep the thermostat in its proper position for effective operation. Damaged or cracked housing. Thermostat housings, typically made of plastic or metal, can develop leaks when they get damaged or cracked. These materials, while sturdy, are not indestructible. Damage can also occur if a mechanic applies too much torque to the bolts during installation or replacement. When the housing is compromised, it leads to coolant leaks, which can cause significant issues. How to replace the thermostat housing? Prepare area, park on a flat surface, engage the parking brake, and gather all necessary tools and supplies like coolant to streamline the repair process. Cool engine. Allow the engine to cool completely before proceeding. This may take about an hour if you've been driving. Empty the coolant. If your vehicle has a drain plug on the radiator, use it to drain the coolant into a bucket. Some models don't require this step, so check your service manual. Remove thermostat housing bolts. Use a socket or crescent wrench to remove the two bolts, holding the housing in place. Take off thermostat housing. Lift off the housing carefully. Be prepared for coolant to pour out if you didn't drain it earlier. Place a bucket to catch it and avoid spills. Clean surface area. Clean the area where the housing will attach, removing any debris or old gasket material to prevent leaks. Install new housing. Position the new housing and tighten the bolts without over-tightening. Refill the coolant reservoir as needed and bleed the coolant system using a repair manual or guide. Finally, take the vehicle for a test drive and monitor the temperature gauge. Check for leaks around the housing after the drive. If leaks persist, the gasket may need to be reinstalled properly. Replacement cost. Replacing the thermostat housing typically costs between $75 and $400. The part itself ranges from $25 to $250, with labor adding another $50 to $150 if you can't do it yourself. If you have basic mechanical skills and the right tools, it's a fairly simple task. However, if you're unfamiliar with the system and coolant bleeding, it's best to seek professional help. If your car has a plastic thermostat, consider upgrading to an aluminum one. These aftermarket parts are slightly more expensive but more durable potentially saving you from another replacement in the future.